Hey, how's it going? This is the Russian Reversal here with another unboxing. We have the C64 Mini uh, Retro Console. I love retro mini consoles. The C64 Mini is a older uh, PC from the 80s uh, and really known for games. So uh, not super familiar with this because this is a tad bit before my time, but I'm really excited to check this out. So let's take a look and see what's inside. So here we have the C64 Mini. Uh, it was on clearance at GameStop. I actually do believe it was open box because the tab on the side looks like it was, uh, might have been opened at one point or it could just been put on poorly. So let's see what it looks like inside. Uh, everything might not be 100% exact. I'm gonna slide this out. And that packaging looks really cool. It's got that nice like 80s vibe to it. Uh, you know, as a person who loves retro stuff, I really like how that looks. So that's pretty cool. So it opens up. And I call this the choir of angels moment. Wah. So here, um, so here's the actual console itself and the joystick. Uh, C64 apparently doesn't mess around, so you can really just see what's in there right away. You don't have to um, get buried in a box a little bit. So let's take a quick peek at the console itself. So the console itself is, uh, these are actually not buttons. So these, this is all hard plastic here. So what you want to keep in mind is that, uh, you know, this, this won't work as a keyboard. However, you can plug in a keyboard because it does offer um, a program that you can do um, for uh, keyboard functions. So for if you're into Visual Basic. So um, that's what it looks like. On the side, we have two USB ports for controllers. Um, this looks like a power button here. Got a power light indicator. And on the back, we have HDMI and uh, micro USB. So there we are for the controller itself is um, it's got buttons on the bottom, two large buttons on the top, a couple of smaller buttons on the side here. So looks like it's got a ton of buttons. Um, the cord looks pretty long, but not like super long. So if you're playing this on a TV and you're sitting kind of far away, but I think it's supposed to kind of give you that close up TV feel. Um, honestly, this was actually um, played on monitor. So you, this wasn't used to being too far away, but looks pretty cool. The, uh, the joystick I've heard is a little stiff and it does feel a little stiff, but that's where we're at there. And then honestly, I've heard really good things about this. Here's the manual. And the manual looks like something straight out of the 80s. So it's got a really nice uh, finish. Looks like it's got Spanish and English as the languages for setup. Um, but yeah, this is, this is nice. Looks really good. Not color on the inside, but that presentation looks really good. So uh, I, I like it. I like manuals when they go the extra mile. Lastly, looks like we have some um, literature, nothing too exciting there. And we do have an HDMI cable. Um, not the longest HDMI cable. Doesn't look like a super high quality one. I think it was open box because the thing is um, let loose, but it's not super long. So that's something to keep in mind. It also does not come with a micro USB cable. So you'll have to keep in mind on that one as well. So that's it. So there's the C64 unboxing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to give a full review of there by giving a um, comment below. And next time I will be unboxing the Evercade so it comes with some games. So I'll take a look at that. Uh, keep in mind, I post a video every Wednesday. So um, give a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and be prepared on Wednesdays for new videos. Thank you so much, and until next time.